and a massive welcome back to the channel everyone and today's special guest is Hobo although he's not looking as Hobo as he has done in the past he's oh, looking pretty on, slip yeah no. pretty yeah I'll give you that right. it's looking pretty oh actually this gentleman has completely taken your place I, I was just about to say you yeah know. you look like a silverback gorilla he dude looks more homeless than me yeah doesn't he just I'm throwing it out and I'm having a 10 Viking hook stuck in there mate yeah. <laughs> okay so we are going fishing <laughs> who would have thought it eh uh, we are in a top secret location. I cannot tell anyone where we are. Um, I cannot mention anything. Can't mention anything. Um, actually, that might be a little bit of a sore subject to some of my viewers because I kind of may have mentioned a mark where something was caught. And I didn't mean to sort of... If I have it upset anyone, sorry, it literally just sort of came out. I was trying to give like a little bit of credit to somebody, but it may have been taken in the wrong concept to certain places. But anyway, enough jibber on that. That's kind of an apology. Uh, yeah, so we are trying to find some underlet rays and some stingrays. We are in West Sussex, which is pretty good um, for underlet rays, stingrays and hounds. It's been a nice, glorious day. There's not much wind about. Um, we have got so much bait tonight, it's ridiculous. So at some point, obviously, we will go through all of our baits and whatnot. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you along for the journey. Hopefully we'll have a few laughs and a few fish. So <laughs> there's definitely gonna be a few laughs, that's for sure. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned and we will bring you back shortly. Two root. Oh, you said the squid on his jumper. <laughs> it's not a squid, it's an octopus that catches fish. Donut. Many lately, has it? Oh, are you still are you still like I'm still reeling off that bass, mate? Really? Really Shall we go and get you a bigger car so we can get your fat head in it? <laughs> And just like that, we are off on our mini adventure with a couple of our boats. Yeah, you know when Maddy Man's with you because you've got this annoying squeak that follows you. After a short walk, we've made it onto a lovely shingle beach. Yay! And it is dead on low water now. We're going to be fishing it up to high. And uh, I chose this mark using the the app called Navionics. Um, so that point there is Celsi. In the dip here is Pegum Pegum Sands or Pegum Bay. And then over here is Aldwick, I think it's pronounced. And then just over there, you've got Bogner. Now, these rocks that you can see going out here, I don't know if you can go, I'll try and zoom into the distance because there's another set of rocks out there and that's known as Bogner rocks. So at low, they get um, uncovered. Now, I chose this particular few groins because it's got a, a deeper, channel or like gully or trench you can see none of the waves are actually breaking along this bit whereas here the waves are breaking and then on the other side the waves are breaking now if you were surfing you wouldn't want to go in there because that's sort of like got the symptoms of like a rip um, a rip current a rip tide because I don't if you don't know about rip tides where there's no waves and you've got waves either side, the rip current will go out. But that's telling me 
from what water craft I do know, which isn't a lot, but that's telling me that this is uh, going to be slightly deeper in between here. So, as you can see, all the way down, there are a few other anglers here, but I've chose that because I think it's going to be deeper there. Um, yeah, so we are predominantly going for rays. We'll bring you back. I'm going to go, I will make a point of going through some of Gavin's rigs that we've got, specially for tonight, and all the baits that we've got. We'll go over and we'll see Maddie Man as well because I'm sure he's been out playing in the mud and he's got some giant worms and stuff. And yeah, favourite word coming in, you ready for it? Hopefully, we'll have some fish. If not, you just join me, Gavin and Maddie Man on the shingle for, I don't know, what's the average video? 20 minutes of waffle? <laughs> right, talk to you all soon. Wow. Wow, wow. Look at that for an evening on the shingle in good company. Lovely sunset just starting to go down behind us. We're all now set up and ready to roll as such. But before the darkness hits us, I would like to just go through our approach tonight. Like I've said at the beginning of the video, we're going for stingrays and underlet rays and obviously whatever we get in between would be great but we're kind of tired of formbacks the north coast is full of formbacks and we've had some blinding sessions lately and now we want to mix it up because me and gav still haven't had an underlet ray although this jammy little bugger in front of me has had quite a nice one last year wasn't it what is it 13 pounds no 11 uh, 11 7 11 7 11 7 she went. Yeah. so yeah we're, we're basically we're going for rays um now, in my eyes, the best rig for a ray is a pulley panel, a long pulley panel. Um, these are what, Gavin? They're about four foot, aren't they? Yeah, these are four foot. So, Gavin, I know we've spoke about pulley panels before, but these are... These are custom range that I do. So, what, let's start with a hook end. What have start we got, hook, hook end? end? That's a 3 wide gate. Right, and who makes these hooks? Are they your these, hooks? Yeah, or? These, these are my hooks. They're your hooks. I had these made for me and bought in. Uh, yeah, okay. 3 0 white gate. Yep. And again, on the top is a 3 0 circle hook. Okay, I'm just losing focus a little bit. So, Gav, tell me, why is that hook slightly like sort of angled as such? The curve, is that, the curve helps with when you twist the line. Is that all wide gapes are like that? They have like an offset? The circle hooks, no. You can get them on straights. Right. Um, but yeah, predominantly I like these ones because it's easier on the line for a panel rig. Right, oh, I see. Line. Yeah, yeah, I'll get sit nice and a, straight. Yeah, if you had a straight eyed hook on there, it'd be sit, sitting a little bit off centered. Yeah. So that just keeps the two hooks. Because yep. I've said before, I like having both my hooks coming up on one side of the bait. That way, I think if you're going to get snagged, you're only going to get snagged one way. I know some people put one hook one way, one hook the other way, but to me, that is then doubling your chance of getting snagged up on something. So, right, so that's the bottom end of your rig. Yep. And then we come well, up, up to... On a 40 pound snood. Okay. A little bit of uh, silicon tube in there. Just, just to, to kick it down yeah, a bit. kick it away from the, the actual way. This is what I like about your rigs. Tiny little components, nice and neat little beads. And then we're up to, that's a Gemini. That's a Gemini uh, pulley bead. I love these beads, love them beads. Down to a Gemini splashdown. Love the splashdowns. Onto a six ounce Namex. Right, also, this is why, again, I like this long pulley because my theory, again, if a ray's coming around your bait and a ray hits these spikes, surely that's going to spook a ray off. So if that is right over there, oh, oh. sorry, matey. <laughs> so that's right over there. Look how far away you'll be sitting. That's right that's over it. there. That's going to be pulled up a little bit, but your bait's going to be down here on the deck, which is nowhere near your weight over there. So you've got less chance of spooking the ray. Then, of course, how a pulley rig works, as soon as you pull into it, that weight gets lifted up nice and quick. So, so yeah, a basic rig, but it's all about, you know, using good components and getting it set up right so that it works. So that's the rigs that we're using. Basically, pulley pedal, pulley, pulley panel rigs. And um, Gavin does all types with different components and, and whatnot. So anyway, there we go. Right, bait-wise. Um, fish baits for underlet rays and sting rays, they love 
ragworm. And that is where this man comes into play. Come on then, let's see your worms. Not a bit. We ain't got a lot. As long as it ain't Tommy. It's only a little bit. Also, people, if you're not aware, I'm sure you are aware, but Maddie Man is the guy to go to to get your fresh dug bait. So this hasn't come through a channel of people and all the rest of it. Steve is out at stupid o'clock. Like I was this morning. Playing around in muddy puddles. Up to mid guts and <laughs> collecting. At six o'clock this morning. <laughs> collecting. So that's common lug there. Still with mud attached. <laughs> These are maddies, which are basically like a really small kind of ragworm. Yeah, maddies harbour rag. There is harbour rag. There is smaller rag in there as well that I pick up out of the beds, but and then <sighs> and this also goes a long way as well you know when now i'm not knocking any tackle shops because without all the local tackle shops we would all be in big trouble but bait care steve takes a lot of care and attention to the way that he keeps his um worms <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, all course, sorts yes. of lotions of and 100%. yeah there's got to be a scientific yeah name. maybe that's what you two was up to earlier when you sneaked well, off together you was looking after his worm i but... can i can keep these going for probably three to four months three to four months yeah in the fridge yeah wow i can keep them going three to four months and this is look they are they're not all like gooey they're not saggy look how lively are they they're all you know they're literally probably pretty much as if he's dug them out the ground and just washed them off no. <laughs> no? no. Nowhere near. No? They're slimy when they come up. Oh, okay. They're, yeah. They're gross um, when they come up and now they've been like... Cleaned, cared cleaned, for them. Cleaned, cared for them. Wrapped <laughs> Rush, <laughs> strongly. And wrap, yeah, but that's yeah. what I'm getting at, guys. They're, they're wrapped nicely. It's not just a pile of junk. I mean, okay, his lugs are a pile of junk, but you can get away with them. Rag... Rag are expensive as well, it's, you know. It's, it's kept it's, in fresh seawater and it's changed daily. Saying that, price-wise, though, you are pretty good prices. Because well, um, how much do you charge for a, a my, score? Well, my prices this year are the same as last year. It's ten pound a score, so it's ten pound for twenty worms. Ten pound for, for 20, twenty rag worms. Well, ten pound a, a score. Shop, not knocking them, but obviously they have to make their margins. Well, exactly. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. The thing um, is, with tackle lot, shops, I've, I've had a lot of people say, "Oh, you're well expensive. Yeah. How can you charge yeah. ten pound a score?" Well, that's fine. If you want to go and pay eighteen to twenty-five pound, depending on the shop, for a pound a worm and get between nine and 15, depending on the size, like this bad that's boy. entirely up to you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like that bad boy. Horses for courses. Look so, at that. You won't pay for it. That has probably got the biggest girth on a ragworm I've ever seen. <laughs> it's just disgusting. Are we gonna get a chance to see its fangs? Is it, yes, look, there it goes, look. On camera, <laughs> and they do nip you as well. They yeah, don't look hurt. at that, he's trying to get you. Yeah, they don't hurt. They mate, just that's you a not it. That's a tremor. Stuff. Do you remember yeah. the 80s film Tremors? <laughs> that's a tremor, mate. <laughs> there's, like, there's like seven of them right. films in there. Hold on, what else you got in this bag? I like what's coming out of it. I'm sure I've saw some um, crustaceans no, of no, some there's sort. No, crustaceans in there. Yeah, no? <laughs> He's got worms and crabs. Oh, look. So we've got yeah. a few peelers as well. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Yeah. It's also quite a good hound mark as well. Um, so I'm sure once darkness comes in and the tide moves up a little bit, we're going to be trying a different selection of all these baits. And, you know... Yeah, I've got four rods. Four rods out? Yeah. You. That, that is great. I've got to move mine. Yeah, yeah. again, look, we've tide got... Tide takes them away. It's <laughs> crazy, isn't it? You know, people out on boats, right? Yeah, in a bit. Um, so what have you got here? You got some more worms. Yeah, these, these are, are black these are dungy black lug. lug. Yeah, these are black lug. These we've got these from Maidstone Angling. So Big good shout, shout out to Maidstone Angling. And then boys always look after us down there. Mackerel launch. Yeah, mackerel, mackerel launch wraps. Where are, are them launch? We got them launch yeah. from well, Medway Tackle. I'll show you what else is in here. Because I'm pretty sure Mick's dad, the guy who owns Medway Tackle. Oh, it's a relative of Mix. I can't think exactly what it is, but he goes out on a boat and he gets these launts. Um, now, they are quite hard to get hold of, but Medway Tackle will get you launts. And they are, again, fantastic bait for the rays. They're basically giant sand eels. So, beautiful. So we've got giant sand eels. We've got mackerels. And then we've got bluey and of course 
no angler will go anywhere without the good old unwashed squid. So, as you can see, we've got the best rigs out there and we have got the best fresh baits out there from Steve. Big shout out to Steve for bringing them baits along. Mate, we've got everything. Yeah. We've got all the baits. And if we don't catch anything... We've we got all the gear and still have no idea. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mate. Speak for yourself. Right, okay, so that is, oh my God, that is 10 minutes of garbage. Um, oh, look, we've got the local youth club come down to visit us. Hmm. You'll be right, Gav. You'll be able to go over there and get some white lightning off of them. <laughs> right, okay, hopefully when you come back, or when we come back, rather, it will be to some fish. The tide is now starting to come in nicely, so... Brilliant, let's crack on. Right, baits are in the water. We are now fishing. Um, thought I would literally just show you, as I've gone into a little bit more depth with rigs and bait, um, well, not in depth, but just spent a little bit of time. Um, I thought I'd show you what actual hardware we use. So Gavin's rods are a 13 foot six. Um, saltest surf they are a two-piece rod and they are made by Diawa Diawa <laughs> I, can, I, I can't pronounce stuff correctly <laughs> but yeah really nice rods these are finished in a uh, X45 HVF carbon um, not over the top nice carbon nice rods and he uses gavin uses the millionaire tournaments i don't like these because it's got silly little handles on it <laughs> and i just don't like it but everyone has their own thing don't they so these are magged up they've got they're not actually, they're oh they're not, not actually, mags no, they're not actually magged they're um, like a centrifugal oh they're like system. a oh it's got like a central fugal braking system as such in there uh line wise this is various isn't it yeah, Varavas. Varavas. And yeah, what poundage is that? 15 pound. 15 pound Varavas. So that's Gavin's set up. Two matching, two matching. So Gavin is in the blue corner. <laughs> I am sporting the red. Again, Dawia, 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 however you say it. Dawia. Dawia. So this is also the X45 carbon. But this is another stamp up in the range. So this is probably the next one up from the Saltist. And these are finished with a 3DX weave into the carbon. I don't know if that's going to pick it up, but it's just it's just the way that the carbon is woven a little bit different. different. These have a solid carbon tip, whereas I think on them, they're a hollow carbon tip. Now the tips on mine are a lot slimmer. And you look at them and you think, oh, they're too slim. They're really tiny, but they are. These are cracking rods. Very powerful. Uh, tournament Pro Surfs. I did get these on an absolutely banging January sales. Stolen. Stole them. Literally half price. Uh, again, they're a 13 foot six, two piece rod. Me and Gavin are of both the similar faults that two piece rods just feel better, work better. I don't know. I like two piece rods. And then I am using the Pen Fathoms and they are the 15 size and they are magged. Um, I really like these. Nice big cranking handle on them. Um, yeah, these, these reels have been absolutely brilliant for me. Again, everyone's suited to different reels. I, I, these are suited to me, lovely. And I am using a 20 pound Taberco Tournament uh, Fluoro Carbon line. I've just re-spooled them tonight, and I must say, feels very nice, yes. The other thing we're doing, we've got two different size uh, tripods. Two different size tripods, yeah, I've got the seven foot, and... And Ian Gold's Supermax. And uh, Gavin has the six foot, because Gavin is a bit smaller than me, so <laughs> I have the bigger one. But, yeah, no, to be no. fair, if... I thought I'd pick the seven foot up, but I'd pick the six foot up. Oh, That's you cool. idiot. <laughs> Anyone, when you when these come back in stock, they're never in stock anywhere. Don't bother with the six, get the seven. It's far more, it, it just works better. The seven, the seven is better. So yeah, that, that's basically our hardware. We're both on Dowia rods. 
tournament surf pros there and the saltest uh, x45 blue corner red corner who will win me again let's go and see maddie man what does maddie man fish with let's go and have a look at maddie man's camp where is maddie man oh man i've got to climb over here oh 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 it's a bit of a drop oh oh right so we're going to look at maddie man's hardware where's your hardware what is maddie man using oh so his reels are right down I tell you what, they'd look quite nice on my real on my rods actually, the red. Yeah. And they are coupled up with he's got the good old classic Century Tip Tornado Super Matches. I think they're the Mark IIs. I've used the Mark III's. Well, not the Mark III's, but the graphics ones, and I absolutely love them. So yeah, good solid setup there. Two rods out for Maddie Man and Jammy bastard's gonna have two more out. Right, so there's the carpiness coming out of Steve's little camp. And there he is. Hobo with a bit of fluff hanging out of his dog. Well, veins on this car, the exterior is covered in salt. So yeah, that is a rundown. You've got the full rundown now. You know exactly what rods, what reels we use, what line we use, what rigs we use, what bait we use. Anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, if you want to know anything more about these two, such as inside leg measurements or whatever, private message me and um, I'll let you know. I'll have to ask their other ask because I have no idea. Right, I really do hope we've got some fish now because if I'm adding up all of these little snippets of video i've probably got 20 minutes of me just talking absolute garbage absolute wet hopefully we'll have another 20 minutes of solid fish now and then it really would be an epic evening Right, darkness has hit, and um, yeah, so of the uh, so is the fishing turned on. What are we saying, Gav? So I gotta go down. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? As soon as it gets dark, the uh, the fishing turns on. So Gav's first fish is coming in now. It's kited right up tide. I've got a feeling it's probably going to be a hound. Um, oh, it's splashing around everywhere. What is it? What is it? Yeah, you got hound. Right. Right. There we are, Mr. Starry. He's not a happy bunny at all. He is one grumpy little shark. Well done, dude. Yes, yeah, right, isn't it? That will do. Don't pick him up by the tail, dude. Right. Grab him behind the head. Okay. I'll take your rod for you. Oh, he's going crazy. Right behind the head. That's it. That'd be days. Well done, dude. What was that on, Gav? Squid and Mackey. Crazy. Oh, look, there's a headlight over there. He's, he's stirring. He's like, what's going on? Uh, starry. Right, I'm just going to put that rod there. Not quite ideal, but that will do. Right, what I'll do is I'll let Gavin get him unhooked and I'll bring you back for a short little, uh, little vid. Happy days. Right, so there we are, he's all unhooked. A nice little starry, and we reckon that's about eight pound without putting the scales on, so first fish of the night. Well, no, we're not. Um, 
Maddy man's had a few schoolie bass and stuff, so cool, happy days, we're getting back. Let's go. Right, Steve O's got himself a nice fish by all of accounts. Let's go and have a little look. Let's have a little look. What we got, Bertie? Oh, got, got yourself a silver bar. Yeah, Ooh, oh, not a bad one. Oh, I'm standing on your line. Whoopsie. Yeah, mind my rod as well. Yeah, I, I did. I walked over that one. Oh, oh happy days. Here we go. Oh, Don't drop oh. him. Yes, mate. Get in. What did that come to? The PB. Uh, that was on. That was on. Oh, Brad. No. Yeah. That was underneath your leg. Oh, is that on the old Wessex? Straight lug. Straight lug. Beautiful. Yeah, mate. Do you want a couple of pictures? Yeah, go on. Switch that head torch off. Right, guys. Well, there we are. Maddy man has, has cracked it tonight. I'll update you in a minute on the uh, weight of it. Yeah, it's just left. All that's left is for me to have one now. Right, I'm gonna get some pictures. Bring you back in a bit, people. So he loops into one by the look of it, straight after Baddy Man. I'm waiting for my turn. <laughs> oh, is that my other line? Drop over the top. Over the top. That's it. Yeah. You should be, yeah. Yeah, you're still clear. No, you're still clear, mate. You're all right. Leaders, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's a strap. What is it? Strap conga, mate. Oh, fuck my life. There we go, look. Just my life. There he is. <laughs> Horrible thing. Oh, well. We'll bring it back again in a minute, guys. Why do I end up with that? And you lot have lovely fish. <laughs> That's why it felt odd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. And it's gorged itself. Yeah. That'd be a new rig on there then, mate. Oh. <laughs> oh well. It's another species to add to the list anyway. Yes, mate, indeed. Oh. Right. We'll get this sorted out, get it back, and In then we'll see if we can get anything else. <laughs> Take that off the stick. <laughs> so Steve was over with us, chatting away, and his rod is literally bent over. I've never seen him move so fast. What are we saying, Bertie? Fish on? Yeah? I don't know what it is, mate. It's strong. I mean, let's turn to jelly. Have a moment, have a moment. This is... Nice fish? Uh, I think it's on uh, the rag rod. So this could be... I don't know. Oh, wouldn't it be wicked if this was one of our targets? Oh, mate. Oh, is it going to be a smoothie? I'm shaking. Probably going to be a smoothie, isn't it? Oh, Rag. They're giving you a little bit. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. It looks like a good fish, dude. Yeah, 
baby. <laughs> that ain't no dogfish. No. Get in, Steve. Oh, are you gaining on him? You're still in the middle. Right, there we go. Getting closer now. I've got the leader. Oh. Tired pulling it back. What are we saying? What are we saying? What have we got? Staying down low. Oh, smoothie. Look at that, that looks oh. wicked. I don't know if you can see that, guys. The one, that's the one. I got your rod. Hold on. Good lad. Well done. Happy days. Oh. Oh. They do give you a good run, don't they? Yeah, mate. That's not a bad size fish either. No. I think that could be a PB as well. Yes, 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 yes. Just zoom back a little bit. Nicely hooked. The panel. Shaking like an absolute loop. Yeah, well you do. Your more adrenaline than, goes through you, doesn't it? More than because I you just have. do not want to lose a good fish. Oh, mate. The only problem with hounds, don't they? They do bleed a bit. Yeah. And these hooks can half hang on. There we go. Happy days. Whoa. Strong, aren't they? Muscle fish. He's still angry. <laughs> you got him? She. Ready? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's have a look. Yes, dude. I tell you what, you've made some good thumbnails for me Whoa. tonight. Stay there. Oh, he's trying to give you a love bite. <laughs> There we go. Yes. Shark fishing. Well Love done, it. dude. Well done. Right, I'm going to get a couple of pictures of this yeah. and then we're getting back. Well done, Bertie. Well, that brings us to an end of our little mini adventure. Hasn't been a bad night to be fair. Gavin's had a nice hound. Steve's had some bass, a nice bass, a nice hound. I've had a couple of horrible eels, but that's it. We are now packing up and we're gonna go home. And just to finish it off, before I do go home, I'm gonna put my little silver bar that I've just had back in. Little little treat for me at the end you can't win them all can you there we go there we go in you go Bertie oh, get a booty here ain't got me wellies on there he goes right guys thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please do um, I just like seeing the numbers go up, it's great. I like reading all your comments. And um, yeah, see you on the next adventure, which will be Wales. Me and Gavin are going up to North Wales. We've got four days up there, taking the sib with us, going to try for some taupe. Um, yeah, so keep an eye on the channel. The next video after this will be probably three parts hopefully part one two and three north wales tight lines everyone <laughs>